Welcome back to our February product of the month with Todd Talks. Today we're going to talk about bushings. And you've got three different styles of bushings that we're going to talk about. And bushings are used to connect wheels, whether they be a shiv, whether they be a sprocket, whether they be a timing pulley, to a shaft. And basically you've got three different types of bushings that we're going to talk about today. First off, we're going to talk about is a taper lock. One of the unique things about a taper lock is that you can get a flush mount into whatever you're mounting to compared to some of the other bushings that we'll talk about. And uh, right now we've got a synchronous pulley that we're going to mount this taper lock bushing into. And when you mount a taper lock bushing, you've got three areas where you've got some threaded holes and you've got a drilled hole. So when you mount this, you want to mount the three holes so that they're lined up like that. So they're all mounted, they're all lined up. And then you're given set screws to do this. And you want to put the set screws in the half hole that's threaded in the component, the wheel. And you're going to put those in there. You're going to put that in there as well. And then what you're going to do is all bushings come with instructions. Now you need to tighten these down to the recommended torque specs. You also need to make sure that the bore is free and clean of any debris. Do not use any anti-seize or lubricants because that will void the warranty. Because what you want to do is have the wedge effect, which is the friction between the taper on the ID of the component, on the taper on the outside diameter of the bushing. And when you tighten that down, it actually pulls it in and friction holds that in place. And it closes down on the split, tightens it to the shaft, makes it concentric with the actual wheel, the component that you're mounted into. Now we're going to change over and we're going to talk about QD. So this is QD, otherwise known as quick detachable. When you look at the differences here, one's got a flange, one does not. The QD has that big flange. And again, when you mount that into the, into the shiv, this is a little bit different. When you line up the taper lock holes, they line up. This can mount two different ways. You've got three sets of tapped holes, and three sets of drilled holes. And there's a one set of taper in here, so the bushing will only mount one way. So for a standard mount, we need to go through the drilled hole of the uh, shiv into the threaded hole. Hopefully we got those right. So now that it's in there, we gotta take the bolts, not set screws like the taper lock, go through the threaded hole, and then you start to tighten those up. Once again, just like the taper lock bushing, you want to make sure that the bore is free and clear of any debris, anti-seize, lubricants, otherwise that voids the warranty. And then read the instructions that come with the bushing. That's going to tell you the size of the bushing, the size of the uh, cap screws, the bolts to go with it, and how much torque to torque it down. When you're running it and you need to change it, what you'll do is you'll take these bolts out. And then another reason why it's called quick detachable is now that's stuck in there with friction. So what you'll do now is you'll go through the threaded holes of each one of these. When you tighten those down through that, it'll pop it out and it'll allow this bushing to come out of there. Again, when you tighten it down, it'll go up against the face of the uh, shiv and it'll pull itself, push itself back out. This is known as a double split taper. So one of the unique features, it looks like a QD because it's got a flange like this but it's got a double split taper. So it's got two slits in the, in the barrel of the bushing. And then it's also got two keyways. So you got an external key and you've got an internal key. Here's your external, there's your internal. And the nice thing about this double split taper is when you mount it into the wheel, as long as you have the external key lined up and the internal key, it fits on there. So, I mean, you can line up your bolts that are gonna go into your drilled holes. Okay, you don't have to align it like the QD. Just when you have the key, key ways that line up, it makes it easy for installation. So we went through your taper lock bushing, your QD bushing, and your double split taper. Hopefully you learned a little bit about the differences, how they're installed, how they're dismounted. Hopefully you also like this information, this tutorial. Let us know. Thanks for coming.